Quarterfinals day at the Bank of the West Classic with Marion Bartley and Yanina Wickmeyer amongst those involved. Bartley had won all three of their previous meetings without dropping a set, but found herself in more of a match this time. Well, that's more like it from Wickmeyer. Really flowing freely through that forehand. Wickmeyer currently ranked 37 in the world, frequently imposed her brand of first strike tennis. Finds the line and it's a, another break, three in a row, and Wickmeyer back in front at 4-3. Bartoli, who won the Stanford title in 2010 and also finished runner-up here last year, just couldn't dictate often enough. Wickmeyer able to win her first ever set against the Frenchwoman. So, Yulina Wickmeyer closes out the opening set. Wickmeyer carried her clean ball striking into the second set to pose a constant threat to Bartoli. That's clever, the wrong putting shot. The Belgian a deserved winner in straight sets. Terrific power and a terrific win for Janina Wickmeyer, her first against Marion Bartoli in four attempts and she hadn't even won a set in the previous three. But Proving too strong for the second seed. Also in quarterfinal action on Friday were two other seeds, Serana Castella and Dominika Sibulkova. After a break of serve apiece, the opening set went to a tie break, where Sibulkova produced the more solid tennis. Again, Astaire drops the ball a little short. Sibulkova. The Slovak took it seven points to five. Oh, no. He's surely going to challenge that one. On the right baseline, the ball was called out. Entirely surprised that that one was way out. So Zabulkova finally manages to close out the tiebreak on her fourth set point. But Castella then instigated an impressive turnaround in the second set. Yeah, uh, this time she takes advantage, and Castella has the clear lead then at 4 2 in the second set. The Romanian blitz Sibulkova with a flurry of winners. Castella breaks up the break of serve with a hold to love. Castella broke to love to force a decider. It's <laughs> just amazing hitting from Castella. Sibulkova simply had no answer as Castella broke serve yet again in the final set. Well, you would think that would be that. The double break secured. This extraordinary run of games, eight now. More winners from Castella to accompany a personal best match haul of 15 aces. Too good. Castella won the last 10 games of the match to complete the stunning fight. Well, that really was an extraordinary sequence. The remaining quarterfinal featured defending champion Serena Williams, who took on Chanel Skeepers under the lights. Serena had won their previous encounter, and she came out on top of a scrappy opening set by three breaks of serve to two. No, that was a very low percentage shot to attempt. Particularly when set point down, so it hasn't been pretty from Serena Williams. She's been well below her best. The Wimbledon champion then started to find more of her typical fluency early in the second. <laughs> Skeepers playing in her first WTA Premier level quarterfinal, unable to handle Serena's terrific point construction. Former world number one closed out the second set to love to extend her unbeaten run to nine matches and set up a semi-final meeting with Castella. Oh, shame. Just dragged it wide. So it is a love set for Serena Williams. Certainly an improvement uh, by her on the first set.